Hello everybody. Today I just want to point out some older buildings and how the ground level is uh, just really out of whack with them. And um, it's my belief that there was actually a cataclysm, maybe even a series of cataclysms in the 1600s that um, as one of the side effects it deposited just layers and layers of mud dirt, earth, uh, and it surrounded, it engulfed these buildings, and then we've been digging them out or destroying them all together. So I just wanted to point out, this is the old Boston State House, and um, as you can see, there's probably a whole other floor here, but it's, it's underneath the ground, and you can see here these windows getting tinier and tinier, and you have an entrance going into the second floor. And this is pretty common uh, with these buildings that we're going to be looking at. But um, its I don't think this building was designed like this. Uh, this building was built and then this event happened. And then we kind of, people just kind of uh, refitted these buildings. And, and um, then we've been giving false, we've been given false dates for these buildings is also my belief. Uh, this is a good example right here. So this is a, an older building in Finland. And if you take a look at this side of the building, you can see there are three floors at least. So here we go. We have the same patterns. And if you look on the other side of the building, we've got the first floor, you have the second floor, and this whole third floor is, uh, is covered by earth so I think this is good evidence that this building it was built prior to whatever event happened and then this cataclysm happened and it it covered you know it basically engulfed portions of this building and um, I would speculate that this entrance here this the actual entrance to this building is probably a lot lower, but this was probably this is just another example how that they uh, put an entrance to a higher level in the building. But I, I hope you could at least see that, and you're going to see this pattern happen a lot. So let's take a look at some of these other buildings. Um, Halifax Academy. We're told it was built in 1877, and again. You know, you have what appears to be one floor, two floor. I'm going to guess there's at least a third floor here. And you can see the slope here. And if you look at the front of the building, first floor, second floor. And there's no third floor. And you can see these, these windows here are blocked off. And again, you have stairway going to the second floor. And um, let's see what else we can find here. Uh, we're, I'm just jumping around uh, Colorado again third floor buried windows buried there's no third floor there's a door that is literally on the second floor this is a this is a good example because um, this is in Australia it's a Masonic old Masonic Hotel 1900 here you can see that these windows just you don't you wouldn't build it like this you don't you know trailing windows off into the ground and you can see there are probably windows here too what i like about this building is it also showcases this uh i like to call them free energy antennas i don't think these were for flags or for uh, lightning so where are we at now? Richmond, Virginia, 1906. And here you can see, the, you know, windows getting smaller, being covered up. San Francisco, you know, look at these windows here. Door, they had to just kind of extend this window, turn it into a door. And, um, uh, so that's about it for that. But I also wanted to point out this church. 
This is called, uh, I believe it's St. Mary Magdalene, Magdalene Church. It's in Omaha, Nebraska. And in the 1920s, uh, there was steep hills, apparently, in a certain portion of Omaha. And um, so they had a project where they wanted to level the streets and get rid of these hills. And da -da -da, since Omaha's earliest days, six steep hills, it vexed the residents. So city leaders knew that if the hills weren't conquered, there were, would be no development. Okay, so they began a series of projects to remove the hills. Over the years, some people sold their houses and businesses and moved to other parts of the city. Those unwilling to sell often found their properties condemned. So basically what they're saying is they, they uh, a lot of structures got destroyed. And this just happened to be one that survived the cut. But I've got some some pictures of this I'd like to show you. Let's go back to here. So this is the current this is the current uh, entrance or was uh, before the project, and you, they've made this ramp and this goes up to here. So pay attention to this ground level. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, here they're starting the project and they're just getting rid of all this uh, the earth but you could see that this ramp going to the entrance is still here and this is the shot that I really want to focus on let's get in more let's get a tighter shot here all right I hope you can see now this is the ground level. Maybe I should zoom out a bit more. Okay, so this, here, here was that ground level slope that you saw. Here was the ramp they put in, and it led to these, um, to this set of stairs, or sorry, to that doorway. But see how far down this goes? <laughs> I mean, what, 5, 10, 15, 20 feet. So this article, it it doesn't really talk about well why was like what what happened to cover this church like what what event actually did this? So I think this is a really good example because you can see here was the ground level and then. You can see it. And so this this building, this uh, church, cathedral, it, it it was around. It wasn't built in the dirt, in the mud. And then some of that happened. Uh, and I think you can see it. So I kind of just wanted to point it out. And this is after the project. And they've done a good job of leveling the ground. But you can still see some windows here. So I'll, I'll leave it there. But... I just wanted to kind of show you that, you know, late 1800s, early 1900s, there was a lot of attempts to get rid of architecture or level the ground. Um, but you can see that uh, something isn't right. Uh, but we'll go into it further in other videos. But uh, for now, that's it. And thanks for watching. Bye. Hello everybody, I'm back here for another video and uh, I'm calling this video Mud Flood Number 2, Dirt Roads and um, Fifth Avenue Mansions. So when I was kind of doing some research for one of my videos about uh, a church in Omaha, Nebraska that appeared to have showed signs of the mud flood. Uh, I found another slide where this building was, com I mean, it's completely encased in mud as well. And uh, this street is, you know, when you look at these mud flood buildings, you, typically the streets themselves are mud. Uh, 
in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And I mean, look at just look at this right here. All this earth, it's it goes right up to the roof basically of this building. But this kind of just uh, I've heard other researchers talking about this, but I just want to do a quick video. Um, kind of reinforcing that you'll usually see these two things together, which makes sense. So um, there's a, a pretty cool little uh, image here. Uh, Vicksburg, Mississippi, 1906, the Carroll Hotel. So if you take a look at this building, it's got this, you know, this certain type of architecture. And... Um, you know, you can see here that the stairway is going up to possibly the second floor. I don't know, there might actually be another two floors below, but it's it's going up and you can see all these windows are just trailing off. Um, but you can see, yeah, the roads are completely, uh, they're just in horrible shape, but uh, they do have tracks laid down. And, um, but yeah, the building itself, uh, of course, you got the antenna there. But yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful building. And they should be capable of throwing down some brick, but for the roads. But, uh, you know, you could tell that this event happened and they're still recovering, basically. So um, I think that one's a pretty good example right there. And um, another example here I'd like to show you is uh, there was an industrial exposition in Milwaukee in um, 1881, I believe. Uh, it opened in 1881. So you have this, this beautiful structure here. And um, unfortunately, this isn't uh, an HD photo, but you have all the antenna. <clears throat> And um, <clears throat> <excuse me. clears throat> what uh, stuck out to me was these windows here, <clears throat> they seemed, uh, you know, there seemed to be something to that. And of course you have these dirt roads, but then what I noticed was uh, these two houses here. And I'm gonna just get my little uh, drawing utility here. But yeah, you could see these two windows here. And then you got windows here. They're all cut off. And then you could see you have these this path going down. And they made an entrance here to the uh, to the second floor of this house. So you've got these mud flood structures right next to this exposition building and these dirt roads. So it just kind of shows you that there was a, a little more going on with this mud flood than, than we're being told. Um, they should have been, if this was supposedly a new building that they built, uh, I would imagine they would have the technology to, to take care of the roads. And um, here is a big surprise. This building uh, served the public until 1905 when it was beset by a massive blaze. So I can't say I'm shocked. Anytime you're dealing with any buildings uh, associated with world fairs or expositions tend to either be temporary or they go up in flames um, or they get demolished so they don't usually last too long but um, so I just wanted to kind of show you that and um, then I wanted to show you these uh, late 1800s uh, Fifth Avenue New York City mansions and um, you've got this similar architecture and you can see the first floors here are uh, they're buried but they you know they actually have uh, paved uh, streets here and um, you know there's just look at this architecture it's unreal okay so here's another uh, here's another little uh, mansion here you have the stairways going up to this second floor here. This floor is uh, underneath the street level. 
and you can see these antennas all over there they're faded out but um, again you have another oh, Vanderbilt's okay you have another mansion and again the stairs going up to this level and there's a whole level that's buried I mean just look at this architecture it's <laughs> it's unbelievable um, you can't quite tell here but um, there's a couple more examples I want to show you, but just, uh, you know, once you start seeing all these towers, it's just, you'll, you see them pop up everywhere. Um, what else do we got here? Okay, this is a good example. Photos from 1891. Perfect example here. S stairs going up to this level. And you have this whole level buried. And um, again, stairs going up to this level. This entire level is buried. Or sorry, this entire, yeah, floor. Sorry, this entire floor is buried. So I think that's about it. But um, so even, you know, it's everywhere. At this point, I feel like... Um, we're all starting to catch on to this so but um, I just want to do a quick little video and uh, thanks for watching until next time bye